celebrity when you're stealing their beauty tips. Please welcome Desiree Stordahl. <laughs> Beauty Myths Busted, and we are going to talk about some beauty tips that you might want to look to the stars for. We're all over celebrity culture these days. We are watching every move they make. So let's talk a little bit about what we can take from them, and we'll start with Kate Middleton because she is so popular. She is so gorgeous, and this is one that everybody wants. It's that celeb-worthy, glowing skin. So Kate Middleton uses rosehip oil to maintain her post-pregnancy glow. And lots of people are using facial oils. That's a great mm. thing to add that radiance back into skin, boost the hydration. But you, admittedly, using one ingredient is kind of one note. So you want to use a facial oil that's loaded with multiple plant oils to reap the benefits of several antioxidants and more mm. moisture. Uh, from Paula's Choice, we have the Resist Moisture Renewal Oil Booster, $35 at paulaschoice.com. It's got nine non-fragrant plant oils, so even, even sensitive skin can use it. There's jojoba, evening primrose, barrage seed. Oh, it wow. adds that beautiful glow, and you can add it to your dry areas, and it's really going to boost the radiance. Okay for people that have oily skin? So I have oily skin, and I'm more oily in the T-zone, so I like to use it under the eyes and on the cheeks where I'm right. drier. So it gives you that glow without looking greasy. Oh, very smart. Okay, that is great. Let's Let's talk a little bit about Taylor Swift. Uh, my girl's all over the place, Miss Taylor, and she obviously has a team, but even without the team, what can we take from Taylor's look? So Taylor has a signature tip for keeping her lipstick on throughout her crazy schedule. You never okay. see her without lipstick. Yeah. And this is something her makeup artist taught her. So first she applies her lipstick, blots it with yeah. a tissue, then she takes another tissue, takes a bit of powder and dusts it on the tissue, and then presses that into lips and applies the lipstick over it. It gives it more of a matte oh. finish that the lipstick is able to hold on to. It lasts all day. And then if you don't want to mess with that, because you know, not everybody has that much time to go through that many processes, yeah. you can use a matte finish lip pencil. This one from Smashbox is their Always Sharp Lip Liner, $23 at Sephora. Okay. And if you put it on all over your lips instead of just on the edges and then apply your lipstick over it, it'll last much longer. I do that. It's that a good one. It really does work, but it's very smart to use the mattifying powder on your lips, you, yes. your lipstick will cling. You can eat Definitely. a sandwich and your lips are still there. You can drink your coffee, drink it's going to make coffee, it through everything. It's all good. Okay, Carrie Washington, it's handled. Let's talk <laughs> about the Scandal star and what we can take from her look. So she has gorgeous lashes, but yeah. if you look at any celebrity and you're admiring their lashes, chances are they're not their own. Oh, Lots no. of celebs use lash extensions and those are great. They can last two to four weeks. They're absolutely beautiful, but they're a pain to maintain, especially if you wear eye makeup. Right. When you remove your makeup at night, it breaks down those lash extensions. It's expensive. It's a time commitment. Mm -hmm. So an alternative that even the celebs use is Ardell lashes, which are super oh. inexpensive, around $5 at the drugstore. Yeah. Makeup artists for Kerry Washington, Heidi Klum, Kylie Jenner are all over these. And I happen to love the accent lashes yeah. because they're much easier to put on and don't look overdone. I'm wearing them right now very as we nice speak. I do the full line but the, an accent by that you just mean you're just doing sort of half of a exact half of a full like lash line yes so it goes more on that like outer two-thirds yeah, yes and it gives you that very cute little feminine that look. fluttery yeah, lash. fluttery look very nice okay JLo she's got the glow and so many people want to be able to achieve that look what can we take we from JLo? all want that JLo glow mm -hmm. now you think because she's Puerto Rican you probably think that she was born with that skin naturally but mm -hmm. she's actually a lot lighter skinned than what she looks like. She credits her makeup artist several years ago with saving her skin by teaching her to be sun smart and get her tan via bronzers and self tanners instead. Smart. But the key is strategic placement. She doesn't just apply and go because if you apply it monotone all over, it looks kind of dull. Yeah. So you want to do on the edges of the forehead, the chin, the cheeks, and then for self tanner, that would be with a bronzer. With a self tanner, you also want to think about where the sun would naturally hit. So so this part of our arm is much more exposed to the sun right. than the inside. So if you apply a light layer of moisturizer on those areas that you want to be a little lighter, it'll shear out the self tanner. You prep that with skin ahead of time and then you're going to have a more natural looking tan. Okay. These are some good recommended products from Kat Von D. It's her shade and light contour palette. It allows you to customize the tan to any way you want and nice. then add depth, depth with the highlighter shades. She's got a great line, Kat Von D. She I'm sure hearing does. more and more about it every week, which is great. But it, 
that's $55 and not everybody wants to spend that much mm -hmm. or not everybody wants to take that much time. So from Rimmel, their natural bronzer is an oldie but a goodie, only $6. Ooh, that's good. Those are both great bronzer options for self-tanner. The Paula's Choice Sun 365 Self-Tanning Concentrate. You just add a couple pumps to your body lotion or your facial moisturizer. Yeah. So you can add more pumps if you want more tan. And then if you want a uh, lighter tan, then just use less. And then from Sally Smart. Hansen, Airbrush Legs. It's for an instant tan. It's not a self-tanner. You just apply and go. Oh, nice. Okay, finally, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer. She's like remained ageless for decades. Her now. hair gets better and better. It's in. It's so great. Like it's amazing how she can do that. I mean, obviously, there's a team involved. So one of her secrets is that she does a conditioning treatment overnight, once a week. So she literally puts it on her hair, sleeps with it in, either rinses it out the next morning, or you can leave it in. Okay. From her line, the Living Proof is the perfect day nightcap. Yeah. And. That works beautifully, actually helps soften the hair and add some shine, but if I you don't want to spend $34, yeah. you could use coconut oil, just put it on the ends of hair, oh. sleep with it at night, and then rinse it out in the morning. Okay, put on a, you know, you're sleeping with a shower cap is what you're doing. So I put Which a towel so over. Which is so sexy. <laughs> But I, no, it, I'm sure that would work. The amount of moisture your hair would just suck up. Just make sure to not put it on the roots or else you're going to be a hot, greasy mess. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Desiree has brought down Paula Begon's The Original Beauty Bible and the 20 Beauty Myths Busted for everyone in our audience today. Enjoy that. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you.